On Friday evening, the German portal Deutsche Welle reported that the sale of a looted painting by Vasily Kadinsky had nevertheless been halted pending a court decision. Poland must be, and will be, firm on this issue. We are taking all possible legal and political steps to recover Polish property, whether stolen during World War II or at any other time. On December 1st, the Griesbach auction house sold the watercolor painting for 310,000 euros, despite earlier loud protests from the Ministry of Culture and National Heritage in the Polish Embassy in Berlin. Here we had a head-on clash. I think they will suffer the consequences of this clash very deeply, because you can already see what is happening in Germany as well, in terms of public opinion ratings. This is, as I said, a suicide shot. Also, Germany not only lost at the World Cup at the moment, but I think they also lost on this issue, because they just have behaved morally very reprehensibly. The painting was looted from the Polish National Museum in Warsaw in 1984. According to German law, the theft of the painting is already time-barred, and the auction house can trade it. This does not change the fact that this is just plain fencing, and this also shows the attitude of the Germans. And the Germans, of course, being aware of our potential claims, have for decades set up their legislation in such a way that it protects all this German property for these looted things. Germany has so far failed to pay Poland the war reparations it owes. According to a report presented on September 1st, Poland is demanding more than 6 trillion złote. According to columnist Adrian Stankowski, the confusion over the painting discredits Germany. This situation, but also the German government's failure to address the issue of reparations, shows that Germany is in fact writing itself out of the ranks of civilized countries. Poland lost thousands of works of art during the German and Soviet occupation, worth billions of dollars in total. The Ministry of Culture and National Heritage maintains an open catalog where anyone can learn about the work stolen from the Polish state over the years.